Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, this is going to be a reading on a defamation case that is going to be dragging Matt Gates right back into child sex trafficking. What am I talking about? Okay, Chris Dorworth is a is the plaintiff in this defamation case. He is a former Florida um, uh, Republican member of the House of Representatives from like 2008 to 2012. He is associated with Matt Gates and Joel Greenberg and a young woman who's going by the initials of A.B. And this young woman, A.B., was the alleged 17-year-old that Matt Gates was allegedly having sex with and that Joel Greenberg um, sex trafficked to uh, Matt Gates, Chris Dorworth, and others. Now, Chris Dorworth is suing this woman, A.B., because he's saying that she's defaming him by saying that, uh, that he, Mr. Dorworth, had had sexual relations with her. Side note, apparently she, Miss uh, A.B., was, who's now 20-something years old, was planning on uh, bringing a civil case against Chris Dorworth. So he's trying to get the first shot off. Okay, so how does this all play together? All right, Joel Greenberg, who um, was convicted of like 11 counts, including sex trafficking, uh, trafficked this young woman and introduced her to several adult men, of which Matt Gates was alleged to have been one of them. Uh, I believe Chris Dorworth would be another, or else he wouldn't be bringing this defamation case. I could look it up, but I'd have to go. It's... Uh, it's, it's a funny bit to read it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, this is the one that the FBI looked at. Joel Greenberg pled guilty. He said he would cooperate. Um, and this was the woman who would have been underage, basically a girl. She was an underage girl and she was raped by Matt Gates and other adult men. Uh, <clears throat> I believe Joel Greenberg in his defense saying, well, but she said she was 18. Had a fake ID and everything. Dude. Um, Dorworth in his lawsuit is basically saying that um, Joel Greenberg and this young woman have conspired to, you know, frame him up for something or shake him out for money or, you know, they're basically conspiring against him. And he wants Matt Gates to be a witness. So they want to bring Matt Gates in early April, like April 5th is when it's scheduled, for a deposition where Matt Gates, under oath, is going to have to answer questions about, <clears throat> about A.B., uh, Joel Greenberg, and Chris Dorworth. Um, this, this is not good for Matt Gates because you're talking uh, child sex trafficking at this point and you are a witness to this. This is the same girl that Matt Gates on the Tucker Carlson show said didn't exist. Never had sex with a 17 year old. This person doesn't exist, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, uh, Midas Touch had a, an article on it and they have all sorts of news clips from Fox News. This is also one where Matt Gates said that, you know, he had discussed this with Tucker Carlson and uh, he had a young woman there with them at dinner with Tucker and his wife. And Tucker's like, I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> type of <laughs> reaction to it. So, uh, yeah, this is this is wild. Um, <clears throat> so I'll read on the energy of this. One speculation came out or one question somebody brought up was risk. Would Chris Dorworth actually withdraw this lawsuit so that Matt Gates doesn't actually have to testify under oath. Another question to look at. One last one is Kevin McCarthy commented, they were, again, Midas Touch had all these great clips. Kevin McCarthy was in there and they were talking about McCarthy and uh, when McCarthy was voted out by Gates and when Gates brought him to the floor and uh, their reporters were asking, no, did Trump support this? and McCarthy's like, you know, Gates and Trump aren't aren't that close. And, you know, he was hoping that Nancy Pelosi would get the help that she needs, the psychological help. But um, then he threw out one last thing because um, they asked about Matt Gates. 
And he goes, Matt Gates, because you know the the reporters followed up after the Trump comment saying, "Well, Matt Gates would let you would have you believe that he and Trump are really close." And McCarthy just sort of off the cuff said, "Yeah, well, Matt Gates lies about who he has sex with, so what do you expect?" Oh my! Did, did, did we just spill a little tea there? And remember when um, uh, McCarthy left the house, he was basically implying that you know Gates was under uh, this ethics panel investigation, and he was going to revel in its results, which haven't come out yet, by the way. So we have all sorts of things we can be reading on here. A quick pause because I realized I hadn't actually got my cards yet. So, okay, now we have cards. Because usually, if you if you ever notice, I'm always overhand shuffling when I'm talking, just so that the cards are being mixed up as I'm giving the backgrounds here. Okay, so Chris Dorworth, this defamation lawsuit. What is the energy around this defamation lawsuit against this young woman, AB, who was sex trafficked as a minor? and has ties to Joel Greenberg, Matt Gates, and Chris Storworth. Entertainment purposes only. What do we got? Ace of Pentacles. There's something big here. Um, I can't imagine that this is going to be him getting big money out of her. I mean, it's possible. This could also be, I, I tend to think of this as being fool's gold because... <clears throat> Well, it may not be fool's gold for Chris Dorworth, but Chris Dorworth is associated with some really shady folks, and he's he's about to expose shady things. And let the nightmare begin. <laughs> Joel Greenberg's already in prison. He's already doing his time for something like this. This young woman, A.B., allegedly... Is go was going to be suing him for defamation or suing him as part of being sex trafficked as a minor. And he's trying to get ahead of this because uh, I think he knows the nightmare is coming. And you can imagine this is Matt Gates every day since he's been served that subpoena. Matt Gates's office did acknowledge he was served a subpoena and correctly pointed out that he is neither the plaintiff nor the defendant in this. He's merely a witness. He's a witness to child sex trafficking. <laughs> Show of hands. How many people out there watching this have been a witness to that? And if you had a friend that was a witness to child sex trafficking, you might wonder how in God's name did you find yourself in that position? There's perfectly innocent examples of why you might be in there. I don't think Matt Gates is going to have those perfectly innocent examples. Underneath it all is the Page of Pentacles. I think, again, <clears throat> this woman, A.B., was going to sue uh, Chris Dorworth, and he's trying to get ahead of the deal. But that's what's drive. That's the underlying current. This young person has things of value to offer and, and could be going for big bucks against some, some big-time players here, former politicians and such. In the past, the moon card, the secrets, the things we don't talk about, the behaviors, the unexpected and unethical behaviors that happened behind closed doors. We'll just leave it at that. Current situation with this, def with this defamation lawsuit is the Nine of Cups. Smug merchant, hope or hopes, wishes, and dreams fulfilled. I think in this case, Chris Dorworth is, maybe he thinks he's in a good position. Maybe he has nothing to do with this. But I don't think that's the case. Um... And the reason why I say I don't think that's the case is in the article, and I'll have the article linked here, the the district attorney basically, or the um, the lawyer for AB basically says, in order for you to believe Joel Greenberg, you have to believe that this young woman, AB, and Joel Greenberg, again, I'm sorry, uh, in order for you to believe Chris 
Dorsworth's testimony is that that of Joel Greenberg and this young woman conspired you know, years ago to try and frame him so that they could shake him down later. And others. And Joel Greenberg is in prison for child sex trafficking, specifically this woman. So not a great plan if you're trying to shake down money and then you end up in prison and then you try and do the shakedown anyway. Yeah, not buying it. It's, he might have a he might have a little bit of a harder time, but I think he's feeling confident probably because they're going to smear this this young woman's reputation all over the planet. Now he's got money, he's got a reputation, and he's going to use his white male privilege to trash on this young woman who I believe I've heard in multiple reports uh, went into the adult film industry. That I don't have anything to say about that one way or another. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. Let's assume it's true. It doesn't mean anything. It really shouldn't. But that doesn't mean that they won't try and smear her reputation. Overarching energy, though, is that you, and you have a woman who was a child that was sex trafficked. And it's going to be kind of hard, pardon the phraseology there, to get out of this because this is a problem. This girl is now a woman. This woman says you sex trafficked her and you had sex with her when she was a minor. Your word versus hers, she's probably gonna be able to give details about you. That's why this is a nightmare case. Again, they will try and tie her up. They will try and smear her reputation because that's the best course that they have as the case with any type of sex trafficking or rape. Just try and victim blame and smear the victim. The lesson to be learned is the seven of wands. Um, fighting from a position of advantage. Uh you know, trying to fight off these challenges, uh, it might be that he's got all the cards going in his way. You know, he's going to have some money. He's got power. He's got a reputation. It's going to be a difficult case for her. Well, he's going to, you know, it's a defamation case. So he has to prove that she defamed him. But that's going through, that's going to go through discovery. And that's going to go through depositions. And people are going to have to testify and you're going to need to hope that they testify, their testimony backs you up. And that, that if they are going to perjure themselves, if they do perjure themselves, that it's going to back you up. Or if they perjure themselves to take you down, that you can prove that they're perjuring themselves. <laughs> the outcome... Is the drunken hillbilly brawl. One thing about this, when you're fighting to protect yourself, you're going to call in other people to give depositions. Oh, I don't know, like Matt Gates. This is going to release a firestorm because how's Matt Gates going to testify? Is Matt Gates going to say, oh, yeah, you know, never seen this girl before in my life, like he did on the Tucker Carlson show? Or is he going to say, yeah, I know her and this guy had sex with her, but I'm sure she wasn't eight, she wasn't 17 at the time. Or is he going to say, yeah, I have no, or is he going to say, I don't know. Or is he going to plead the fifth? How bad is it going to be? And notice the number of the card is five. How bad is it going to be when Matt Gates has to plead the fifth to avoid self-incrimination in this guy's defamation case? That's why we need to throw and find out if this case is even going to go forward or if this guy's going to cancel his lawsuit. This, this, <laughs> this defamation case that Chris Dorworth is bringing against AB, oh, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be an absolute mess. You know how Mike Johnson has like, you know, a two vote majority? <laughs> it may not be two votes. 
It may not be two votes for much longer if this goes through. April 5th, right around the time the eclipse happens, all hell is going to break loose. Fifteen minutes in, this could be a long reading, but oh, this is a naughty, dirty reading. How's Chris Dorworth feeling about this case? Is there? Did he? Did he do this? Does he? Does he? Has he never met this woman? Doesn't know who this woman is? Type of thing like Trump with every woman that he, every person that he ever doesn't want to be associated with. What's Chris Dorworth? You can tell me about his relationship with AB. Heartbreak, lies, betrayal. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Oh yeah, he he knows who this person is. He's not being he's not being truthful here. <sighs> Queen of Swords. Mm. This case may not go very well for him. <laughs> when you've got this thing, he's yeah no, no. It could be that he was set up, or something like that. This case, this, this, I think what this is, is this case will be settled pretty quickly. The, the Queen of Swords is a very cut and dry card, but lies and betrayal here. And here's that woman again underneath at the bottom of it all. Oh, this, I, I, I do not want to be Chris Dorward. I do not want to be this guy. I'm glad I'm not this guy. I'm glad I'm not this guy going through this. This is a problem. In the past, four of coins, trying to keep everything together, trying to keep this hush hush, um, not trying to get, let information get out, trying to keep you know everything tight. Don't let anything out here. Current situation is the three of wands. He is like it's like he's this case is a he knows the case her defamation case against him is coming or her lawsuit against him is coming and he's trying to get out in front of it. And he's trying to get some help. He's trying to call in favors. <laughs> so, you know, subpoena Matt Gates Because Matt Gates probably owes this guy. And Matt Gates is going to come in and save his bacon. So he thinks. Overarching energy is the Four of Swords. Ooh. Um, retreat. Contemplation. Uh, withdrawal. The case could be delayed. Um, it's almost like secrets coming out. the 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 plate glass window or the um, the stained glass window represents um, uh, was it intuition? Intuition, I think it is, or insights. I have to go look that one up again. Um, it might be that. To save himself, other people will have to go down. <laughs> Your witnesses may not be there. Your witnesses might be very tight-lipped. Yeah. Look at the adult male and this young girl coming in here. Yeah, I think this is almost like secrets being... It's not the moon card, but it's something that's been kept quiet. Now you got the four of coins trying to hold things together. And, you know, this is things lying low. In this case, hasn't really done any progress with it. And um, I think it was the FBI said they weren't going to pursue charges against Matt Gates. But you might be waking something up by doing this. And again, child sex trafficking here. Justice card is the outcome. So far, I think this case is going to... Uh, this case will go forward. Could it be delayed? Possibly. Is he going to call people out who have been lying low? Very possibly, since Matt Gates would be that person. Uh, if he's innocent, if this Three of Swords, this Betrayal card, if he is innocent, um, it means that other people are going to be guilty. If that makes any sense. In other words, you know... <laughs> Matt Gates is going to be in a conundrum here type of thing. What this is going to be like is like, 
you know, Matt, you're the one who had sex with her, so I need you to come in and testify and admit what you did, or at least exonerate me. But by exonerating me, you're going to have to admit to what you did. I don't... That That's way too convenient an answer. You know, if the girl had, like... You know, if the girl was pregnant, she had only had sex with two guys, and you don't have the DNA test, and one guy is like, I, you know, both guys say they're home with their wives, or something along those lines, or one guy was with his wife, and the other guy was out gallivanting, you know, you're asking the other guy, hey, come on, you're my neighbor, you, you saw me home with my wife, or you saw me home, or something along those lines, you know, are you going to lie under oath? So now we're going to ask about Matt Gates. Well, do I want to ask about Matt Gates or want to ask about her? I want to ask about Matt Gates. It, it, that's not a great example. That's not a great analogy, not a great example. But basically, if this guy is innocent, Matt Gates is going to have to be the one that says that he's innocent. But the thing is, that now opens up Matt Gates big time big time exposure. So now the question is, is Matt Gates going to perjure himself? Mind you, the FBI has investigated him. They've talked with him. I'm sure they've talked with him. So they might have stuff on the record with him. And now he's got to remember everything he told the FBI as he is now under oath on this trial. If you're a liar, you better be able to keep track of your lies. And here we go with the disappointment card here um, falling out. <laughs> yeah, Gates is in trouble. Gates is in big, big trouble. First off, again, you're a House member that's being pulled in to testify f with somebody for child sex trafficking. And you have a reputation for showing off pictures of all the women you've videos of the women you've had sex with on the house floor and there's an ethics committee investigation into that and for sex trafficking a minor and there's been an fbi investigation for you sex trafficking a minor in entertainment purpose only he's never been charged with anything but you know you, you seem to be around this a lot what's going on at the very least this girl is nothing but trouble but these guys were voluntarily around this girl. Matt Gates, how's your how are you feel how's your testimony going to be? Or what are you going to do with your testimony? I mean, that's a better idea. Are you going to be truthful? Are you going to plead the fifth? Are you innocent? What is it? The hanged man. Sacrificing, <laughs> self-sacrificing. I doubt Matt Gates is going to fall on the sword for this guy. That, there's nothing in Matt Gates's personality that um, that would indicate that. So maybe Matt Gates will provide some perspective, or maybe Matt Gates is going to fall on his own sword. Crossed with the Ten of Cups, happy endings, and there's the disappointment card again, the one that fell out now on the bottom. I don't think Matt Gates is going to tell a straight story. He's good. Matt Gates is going to protect himself and say and paint this rosy picture with him. But there's that the five of cups underneath here to me is like uh, he's making some big mistakes. He's not being truthful. He's not being emotionally honest. People are going to suffer for it, and he's probably okay with that. Better somebody else go to prison than me is kind of the vibe I get. And the thing is, <laughs> this this law these lawsuits aren't are, they're not just ending with this. They're just getting started. In the past, the strength card, strength or weakness. Um, Matt Cates has put on a strong denial, shall we say. And he is denied, 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 denied. To the point where he managed to thwart an investigation. Now, mind you, that investigation, as I understand it from the talking heads that I've listened to, and they could be biased, I acknowledge that that is, could very well be the case, that it wasn't so much that the evidence wasn't there, in as much as... Joel Greenberg and this young woman, A.B., were maybe not the most reliable witnesses and that they would be uh, 
witnesses that would uh, be cross-examined to hell and back and could have, you know, all their testimony undermined. So, you know, you only get double jeopardy. You only get one shot at this type of thing. So that's my, uh, that's my understanding as to why charges weren't brought against Matt Gates. It wasn't that he didn't do anything. It's not that he's innocent. He could be both. It could, he may not have done anything. He may be innocent. But the fact that they know he did something and the ability to prove it to a jury and have the jury believe it uh, while the witnesses to this are being crucified by the defense attorneys, they may, they may not have thought that they had a winnable case. And then there'd be no justice at all. Strength. <laughs> He's made, been strong in the past and strongly denying this. Current situation. Every freaking man for themselves. Oh, you expect truthful testimony out of Matt Gates? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Matt Gates is a Boy Scout. He's an Eagle Scout. He would never, ever. He's a married man. He and his wife are going to have kids. He's the future of the Republican Party, family values and all that. He would never, ever do something like this. Oh, no, no, no. His Matt Gates is going to lie through his freaking teeth. Or he's going to plead the fifth. One of the two. I've not decided yet if he's going to lie or plead the fifth here. But I assure you, Matt Gates will be representing Matt Gates. Six of Swords. Sending things away. Troubled waters. Um, I would also expect that anything that happens out of this case is depositions. You've also got, again, the Ethics Committee investigation into Matt Gates. Uh... This is not going to play well with the Ethics Committee and what their recommendations are going to be for Matt Gates. Not going to play well at all. Now, again, he may he, there's going to be, be people thrown under the bus, but I assure you Matt Gates isn't going to resign his position from Congress over this. They'd have to kick him out. Um, yeah, somebody's leaving. Somebody's going out of troubled waters here. Oh dear, truth is going to be revealed. Or the tr or more to the point, I think this is, the truth is not your friend. In order to get rainbows, you need two things. You need sun and you need water. And somebody's going to have to rain on somebody's parade here. Truth is going to come out. There's going to be truths understood here. Remember that part I said about the FBI investigating Matt Gates and then not prosecuting him? King of Wands usually represents my Department of Justice. This, his testimony might cause the Department of Justice to revisit his file and just, you know, confirm what he's saying in this court case matches what he said in the file. This might cause some troubles for Matt Gates. I or I should say, I know this is going to cause trouble for Matt Gates. It's just a question of is it going to be this defamation trial or is it going to be the fallout from his testimony of this defamation trial? Disappointment. Loss. Diminishment. Matt Gates is in a world of trouble. And it's almost like you get to pick which direction you want this trouble coming from. Def defamation lawsuit, FBI investigation, House ethics investigation. You know, it's coming at them from all sorts of different directions. And then there's that whole bit where Matt Gates wanted a blanket pardon from Donald Trump. Why would you need that? And he's been a huge Trump supporter because he, his, Donald Trump's the only person that's going to bail this guy out of anything. Okay, my case is in trouble. Miss A.B., what could you tell me about the situation around Miss A.B. in this trial involving Dorworth or Matt Gates or Joel Greenberg or just this whole situation? What can you, 
if I was just doing a general read on her, what's going on with her with regards to this trial, this defamation suit? All right. This is going to probably be about a 45-minute reading, I'm guessing, here. Page of Swords. Well, she's young, she's a woman, and she's going for it. Um, I don't want to say she doesn't know what she's doing, but she's young and inexperienced, but she's gaining experience. Hopefully she's got good lawyers. And she probably does. Uh, but she's also getting her message out. She's getting a message out about uh, child sex trafficking and um, apparently, you know, Florida, uh, U.S. Congress people, state Congress people, and the tax collector. That's not a real good combo, would you say? <laughs> if you're against this woman. What do we have? Fake friends, corruption, um, debauchery, stuff like that. Young woman brought into a dark world by fake friends. Passed around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do I believe she was sex trafficked? 110%. I absolutely do. She was probably promised a lot of things that didn't get delivered. Or, <clears throat> or it could very well be, you know, yeah, you did this to me. Now I've got leverage to the hilt over you and you're going to pay for it. Uh, so she might be a whole lot, even though this is a page of swords, she might be a whole lot savvier than these guys are. They think with their dingalings, and she was thinking with her mind. Um, Knight of Cups, again, false friends and, and things like that, being offered around like a false friend. In the past, the Three of Cups, again, passed around, celebrated. You know, hooray, let's drink a toast to this young girl and our relationships with her. And here's you got your, th your three guys, your Dorworth, your Matt Gates. And your um, uh, Charles uh, uh, Green, Charles Green, Joel Greenberg, excuse me. Yeah, I think three people acting as false friends for her. Current situation, out in the cold. Whatever was supposed to, I think, if there were any deals or anything like that, um, she was like, she's like persona non grata. And uh, she's she's going after these guys. She's going to go after these guys. Basically, she wants money. She's going after these guys for money. You know, again, this could be, again, trafficking and human trafficking in general. But you know, I, I don't think she's doing this out of a, a righteous cause. And I'm not, I'm not judging her one way or another. I'm just trying to make sense of this five of cards. This is abandonment, big institutions that could be helping but aren't type of thing. This could be this, the reverse defamation suit that you know, he knew the defamation suit was coming. So he's trying to hit her first. Mm -mm -mm. But now we got the king of wands. We've got the courts involved. We have the justice system involved. We have judges overseeing all of this. Subpoenas for Matt Gates, FBI investigations, congressional investigations. <sighs> Four of Cups, offers that we don't like. It could very well be that Dorworth has been trying to settle this case. Remember he had that Four of Coins over here in his reading, trying to keep things shut down and quiet. It could be that she was trying to get a settlement out of him and he wouldn't play ball. He kept giving her substandard offers and she kept refusing because it wasn't enough money that she needed. She, again, she might have her own problems. A, a lot of, a lot of um, young women that are in the sex trade are often kept there by drugs, for instance. And so, you know, drug habits are expensive or the lifestyles are expensive. So... It, there's something of value that she's been trying to get. And he was holding on to stuff of value he didn't want to give. And whatever offers he's giving her, she's not accepting. Oof. <laughs> the Page of Swords 
evolved into the King of Swords. She may have started off this process as a young person with an idea and a, a, a mission. She is leaving as a powerful force. Again, I think this court case and this testimony is going to spawn something enormous. Now, the King of Swords is also my Jack Smith card. And I've mentioned to you on multiple occasions that um, uh, with Jack Smith, uh, one of the things that I keep thinking that his, uh, his group is hitting on is, is sex trafficking and human trafficking. I've come on that a couple of times. And I think this case is probably going to tie into that. Again, that King of Swords could just be this young woman, AB, comes out, you know, really telling it like it is. But it, this could also really attract the Department of Justice and tie in with the um, with the January 6th case. I'm not sure how we tie in with January. It, ju it just could be that between the Mar-a-Lago documents case and the January 6th case, they really stumbled onto something else. And it might be related with those. But I really do think the Department of Justice is going to get involved in this one. That could just be the FBI, too. Maybe it is the FBI. I think it's the FBI. All right. So we've asked about... I don't really care about Joel Greenberg. We've asked about the plaintiff, Matt Gates, the victim. Um... I don't think Matt Gates is going to be honest. Uh, what is going to be the future, the fallout of this? What can we expect uh, is the fallout to Matt Gates because of this set of events uh, uh, now going into play? What's going to be happening with Matt Gates here? Queen of Swords. Oh, things are not going to go well. This is, again, this is the parent. You do the. T you did the crime, you're going to do the time. Cut and dry. Whether it's the ethics group, the ethics panel, further FBI investigations or DOJ investigations, there, this is not good for Matt Gates. Somebody's going to hold him to account for his lies and his betrayals. Just like this guy Dorworth is, had the lies and the betrayals. Whether Matt Gates has lied, <laughs> lies to commit perjury on himself with this, Pleads the fifth. I should ask if he's going to plead the fifth. I'll come back and do that one. But yeah, he's in trouble. He is in big trouble. And there's your disappointment card again. Look at that. We are dialed into Matt Gates. He is what he has done is hugely disappointing, and he will be held to account for it. <sighs> Child sex trafficking in the past. Reaching out to Trump, trying to get that pardon. They're going to make that tie. For his blanket pardon request, I'll bet. They're going to make that tie-in to that Trump asking for that pardon. I don't know how you'll connect the two. But the, but those are going to be connected. I forget how he Matt Gates tried to go through with through Mark Meadows or Giuliani or Roger Stone or something like that. But he tried to get through that. Mind you, Roger Stone, Joel Greenberg, and Matt Gates are also all connected too. Anybody, show of hands, who here wouldn't think Roger Stone would be involved in this at some point? Overarching energy. Seven of Pentacles. Money. Get, you know, child sex trafficking. You know, there's going to be some money trails. You know, those, <clears throat> those Venmo payments for books and tuition and such. Um, <clears throat> there's going to be a financial component that's involved with this. It's going to tie him to this case. Lesson to be learned. This young woman, it's, can you imagine if this whole thing happened because they stiffed her? They wouldn't give her her book money or her tuition money. Uh, again, young person, value, trafficking, and probably more involvement with that with powerful, connected people. Outcome is the Fool card. New journey, new chapter of his life. Sorrow and disappointment underneath. Matt Gates is screwed. 
how this how he gets screwed is you know i guess he gets to pick his manner of death do you want to be drawn and quartered do you want to be burned at the stake do you want the guillotine you know <laughs> your choice how would you like it but you know I, I, not to be overly graphic, sorry about that, but uh, just to give you the idea of, you know, bad choices and worse choices type of thing. Would you like to be tied down and devoured by ants? <laughs> that type of thing. Ugh. All right. Um, oh, pleading the fifth. Will, <laughs> in this defamation trial, will Matt Gates plead the fifth? At least that one's kind of an easy measurable one, right? We'll know if he did or didn't. It's a very yes or no question. Will Matt Gates plead the fifth during his deposition? Oh, and then we have to ask if the, if this is even going forward. There she is again. Page of Pentacles. Got the Two of Wands. Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Some of these cards are looking rather familiar. He's going to go forward with his testimony, trying to ride this out. Um, he's going to deny, deny. I don't think he's going to plead the fifth. He's just going to deny, deny, deny. But here's the problem. You're, he's not looking much further past his nose about the implications of this. And it's... He's... He and wealthy people are, are impacted. They're they're involved with this. There's a lot of money behind this. He, I think he's, yeah, he's not going to tell the truth about this, but this is going to be something that impacts him greatly. This this could land him in prison. What happens with all this? Okay, last question. It really will be a 45 minute uh, reading here, and. That question is, will Mac, will Dorworth drop this case so that Matt Gates does not have to testify on April 5th? Is that what that four swords was? Will Matt Gates have to testify on April 5th? Will Chris Dorworth, that's the Knight of Cups that was flipping up there, will Chris Dorworth drop, dismiss this, or drop this uh, defamation case so that Matt Gates doesn't have to testify. You can imagine that Gates doesn't want to testify on this one. You can imagine the pressure that's going to be put on there, the deals that are going to have to be cut behind the scenes. Now you've got, what, um, three weeks, basically. Three weeks to get this sorted out. There's going to be a lot of scrambling in these next three weeks. Will, well, let's see, will this case be dismissed so that Gates doesn't have to testify? I don't think so. Well, it's possible. You know, Four of Wands is, you know, the, on the high energy is, you know, welcoming, welcome to the party, come on in, welcome to the wedding. Lower energy, it's uh, closing the door on you. There's negotiations behind the scenes. Mm, DOJ's interested. Justice card's interested. <laughs> this young woman's interested. I, you know, okay. My guess is, yes, this is going to go forward. Um, my guess also is that... Um, whether this case goes to what am I trying to say? Um, Matt Gates is going to have to testify in a defamation case, whether it's Dorworth or AB's case, he's going to have to testify. Will he have to testify in April? I'm not exactly sure because I don't think I'm actually getting the answer to that. Although this is a four and it's the wedding card, that would typically be a yes and welcome to the party. Um, if he doesn't, it's because there's been, you know, negotiations in the back there to dismiss this case in justice. But we've got the King of Wands. We've got the Justice card. We've got the Three of Coins. What is that really telling me? 
DOJ is going to watch this case and look at the testimonies. Um, they're going to compare the information that Matt Gates gave to what they've got and make judicial decisions off of that. This could also be when you have child sex trafficking, you also have dark money. And, you know, you look at the money and the stuff like that that's involved there. This case is horrific news for Matt Gates. Whether it is short term or long term, um, well, long term horrific news. It's going to be short term horrific news too. This is going to be a big scandal, plain and simple. And uh, not that I'm rooting for big scandals against Matt Gates, but you know, if you did something like this, you deserve to be held accountable for it. And he's had a lot of denials in public about this. It's going to be really interesting to hear what he testifies under oath because you don't have to tell the truth on the Tucker Carlson show. You don't have to tell the truth to a bunch of reporters, but you sure as heck do in a court of law. And you've already been interviewed by uh, lawyers on the ethics committee, by the FBI, testimony from Joel Greenberg, money trails, all sorts of stuff. This guy has screwed three ways to Sunday. And I'm here for it because it's accountability. And, uh, and it's nice to start seeing people being held accountable. And if you're a huge Matt Gates fan, well, you know what? Would you be a huge Matt Gates fan if you found out he was trafficking minors? Sex trafficking minors? Would you still be his fan? Or do you have enough common sense to say, you know, I may be a, a cultist here, but that's a little bit, that's a bridge too far for me. If, you, if it's not a bridge too far for you, stop watching. <clears throat> Please unsubscribe. Don't watch my videos because there's, I, no, just no, there's no common ground at that point. All right. Thank you everyone for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that my video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel recently, um, I don't always cover subjects like this, but this was in the news and um, nor do I normally do 47, holy cow, minute videos. But sometimes I really want to do a deep, deep dive into this and I want to answer all the questions I can so that you, you leave sated with this information. We got three weeks. We're going to find out a lot more information in three weeks and we can revisit at that point. Anyways, but thank you all uh, for the new subscribers or to the new visitors. Welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.